Okay, this is our daily sketch number five for painting. Um, this one's just a cute little rendering. I think it's supposed to be Bolt, um, the cartoon character, maybe when he's a puppy or something. So we've got basic shapes, you know, you've got the head, and I'm just going to say it's like the circle area. And then the body is a rectangular, but you really need to pay attention to where the body starts in um, compared to the head. So I've got the neck, the body starts below the head. It's not a super long body, and it's quite narrow because he's a little pup, but it starts about, it seems like halfway, maybe even more than halfway through the body, and we might need to adjust that. And then I'm just going to give the direction of the legs right now and where they would start. I think I might have made this a little too long. I'm going to adjust that because I really am looking at the negative space in between the front and back legs, and this seems like this will be more accurate. And then I'm just going to pay attention to the curve of this tail and where the tail ends is about where the head ends, right here. And then we've got two ears. So just basic shapes that I'm going by here. So now let's pay attention to the detail of the head. It kind of um, barely curves here. It's quite rounded here at the front. And then you've got this cute snout that comes out a bit. And then his little neck. And I kind of just look at those basic shapes before I do detail of the face and see if that's accurate. And I'm actually really comfortable with that. I think that's accurate. He's got a big old nose. And where do the eyes sit? This one's fairly close to the left. And then this one, there it's like it's on a curve where the position of the eyes are. And I think that's about good. I do notice I put this nose a little too big because I do have a white area below. So I need to adjust that. And it's, it doesn't curve up as much and into the face the bottom of this muzzle right here. So I'm just barely going to draw it. And then you just curve into the neck. And I think the color needs to come up a tiny bit from where I drew it. I'm going to erase these lines so it makes sense and I can really concentrate on if I did that correct. Now notice the leash tends to get a little thinner towards the back than the front. And I've got this cute little curve right here. So distance of the forehead. I think I left that high enough. Let me erase my lines just to double check here. And then he does have this kind of cute little curve over here. And right here. Okay, I'm good with that. So let's look at the ears. The ear comes up from the where the eye is. So it curves. It's quite high. Big old puppy ears. Curves down. Slant right there. Okay. Distance in between the negative space between the two ears, really pay attention to that. This ear starts behind where the eyeball is, so back here. Same height, don't get too high. In fact, it might be a little bit lower, so I'm going to draw this a little higher because I went a little too high. And then it basically ends about the back of the head. And we can kind of draw these inside portion. Okay, and I'm good with that. The back of the top of the back barely curves in a little bit, and this is a very short area, and then it kind of squares off to the back side, and that looks distant wise about correct. I'm going to look at the front. This curves in his little chest right here just slightly, and then just these little tiny legs, no detail for the paws, which is kind of nice to not have to worry about. This one, because it's in front, barely lower, maybe drawn a little bit bigger in an overlap. So that shows depth that this would be in front and this one's behind because it's overlap, it's bigger. Then I've got the tummy curves up because he is a puppy and he's a little slender. And then you've got this thigh that comes up here and really angles down. Pay attention to that angle, this goes straight. And then this curves, it should end about the same place as that front leg. And draw the back leg now, really pay attention to this negative space in here. Okay, and let's look at this tail. Again, the swoop, where does it start? On the bottom, about here. I like that curve. It's kind of thicker 
and you just have like this one little furry texture in another one and it connects at the bottom feel like that seems okay draw erase some of these little sketchy marks and let's put some more detail in these eyes these eyes are quite big I'm really paying attention to where the highlights are I don't want to lose those especially when you're doing like a cartoon animated look that gives a sweet eye if you have like that detail I'm gonna erase some of these sketchy lines and then I had angled that um, oval and I want to straighten that out and then again I'm adding some dark but leaving the uh, highlights. I'm going to make that look a tiny bit bigger and curves. Let's figure out that nose now. I'm going to really outline it so it looks cute and cartoony. It's kind of rendered where it fades from dark to light and that's pretty close to what we've got. I'm going to fix the eyes don't seem quite as cute and sweet. And it might be because I'm so heavily outlined. Let me take off some of that outlining. See if we can make these eyes look a little sweeter. Add some shading around it. This angle is very small. Adjust that. And it doesn't quite come out so far on his nose. I'm going to fix that. Okay, I think that's good. We almost forgot the most important part. We've got some zigzags for this bolt. We thicken those up and then he is done. You can start. Always go back through and do a little bit of line work. It's kind of nice to add some heavier lines here and there to give a little more detail. Okay, and that's about it for me. Um, I can't stop myself, you guys. Okay, I'm going to stop. Good luck.